So a few months ago, while I was traveling through Java Island off Indonesia, there was this one place. It really looked like, like one of those places where you're like, is it gonna be as nice as it looks online? Okay guys, in today's video I want to tell you a bit of story about how I traveled to Mount Bromo. So this is already a few months ago, it was a very spontaneous trip. We had to drive in the morning, wake up, drive for around three hours. This is one of the largest active volcanoes in the world. And in today's video, I want to take you with me on that adventure to Mount Bromo. For the past few years, I've been documenting my life here around perpetual travel and living around the world. And as of now, you're watching country number 51, Indonesia. We're gonna be traveling all throughout Java Island, the known places, Bali, and maybe also some hidden gems. I would say one hour drive outside of the city of Malang. It is already a few days later. But, you know, it's never about the destination. It's never about like, yeah, you know, go into a national park and be like with the hordes of people watching the sunrise. That's how it usually is, what I hear. There's a lot of places in Indonesia. So today we're gonna do a very individual tour. We put up a few dots on the map. I don't know if we're gonna get a view of Mount Bromo. The sun is already up. I mean, this is already super epic. Let's get the drone up and let's get, let's get to Mount Bromo. Our alarm is <laughs> raining right now, so we just drove almost the two hours. And then until we're gonna approach to Monte Brumo. That's usually the... our wake up time in the yes. back there. What is the time now? I think 6 now it's uh, 6 30. Yeah, two hours. So, yeah. Well, I'm, I think my eyes are still uh, puffy, but oh my god, the mount mountains around Malang are just... way too insane. Oh my god, I'm really gonna cry. What's your impression? So guys, after two hours, I'm just driving through a lot of villages. There we go. Show them. You can see it from the city of Malang and then on this side, Jesus Christ. Are you kidding me? This is just... So now, let's get up there. Better view? I guess so. Let's go. famous volcanoes in the world super sick super super sick I mean we're just thinking this is very likely a once in a lifetime experience not just because I'm never gonna come back you know I'll be in Indonesia a few more months and especially when traveling I don't feel like you always should feel like oh this is the only time the only chance I could I could visit you know life is long and if you do things there's enough time <laughs> Epic talk. But the fact is, finding my mom promo without anyone around you, I don't know if that ever really happened in like the last 50 years, but you can still get an epic view and it's incredible. Back there, you have kind of like another mountain which is surrounded by a huge cloud. Here you see the volcano, the active volcano. You see the steam coming on top of it. There's another type of mountain. Maybe it's also a volcano. So I think the iconic views from over there, we're gonna head there in a second as well. But you know, just like, in all directions 
there is viewpoints like that you know we were in Albania and many other countries yeah. where you go really high up and from all sides you have mountains but this is definitely another level like actually Mount Bromo itself the volcano it's a little bit smaller than I thought I thought it would be bigger but the mountains around it which I don't know the name of they're just absolutely massive so incredible spot and if you happen to travel here in the future the national park the entrance somewhere there I heard it's closer now I'm not sure if it is but whether it's closed or open if you just want to do a viewpoint there's a lot of different viewpoints around uh, what we tapped into google was sunrise viewpoint so if you come by yourself and you just enjoy to adventure and explore because seriously we drove through the villages that was already the best part and like you know it's not about things to see and things to do it's about you make the activities you turn your own itinerary you decide what is special and why it is special you have an eye for all the little details you drive for 6 30 a.m you see people in like mountainous villages where like the only thing that is needed is like take a picture market it correctly and people are gonna flock in in millions to see that and right now you have the chance to do it while there's pretty much nobody there especially like Mount Brom is always gonna be super busy for a good reason it's absolutely like one of a kind I cannot compare it to absolutely anything else so around it there's the crater and around it you have this huge I don't know I guess it's un unfertile land because there's absolutely nothing growing on it other than maybe a little bit of like green uh, grass. Yeah, some type of little green grass. It looks more like mold. Yeah. Actually. Yeah, yeah. So on the on the mount itself there's like some like interesting looking bushes, but <sighs> epic spot. Top three of all time. For me at least so far. It really lives up to the expectation. But then once again. If you're just gonna do a tour it's probably gonna be with lots and lots of people which is fine if you don't mind it but you know me for me I always need a certain little bit of an adventure feeling do your own itinerary get lost drive through a road that you're like you know that is not not really a road it's just a little farmers path come on guys living the adventure out here is there someone coming I'm trying to pass. Oh, look at this completely flat. Nothing can grow here. And actually, I think this one, this little square, is probably some type of like a house. And over here, we have like a. Um, you know, we almost, almost missed it because we actually supposed to uh, come here yesterday in the morning. But before we decided to come, it was like pouring, raining. So we're like, well, you know, maybe we're just gonna leave. But yesterday, last night, we saw the uh, the sky was super clean, and uh, yeah, I was just like, wow, tomorrow's gonna be a very, very good morning. So yeah, to our striving, here we are. Everything is completely burned here. Okay, you see big there, there was there we were before and now this is coming in. So later on I heard that Mount Brome is completely covered by a cloud. So if you happen to come early, look for nice weather, look to come early. Because this is <laughs> And it's coming so fast, seriously, the clouds are moving so quickly, right above us. I don't know if you can see this. What's up, yeah? Is it, ooh? <sighs> Camera. <sighs> Give me that. Oh, okay. I thought, I thought you did, you look a little bit different than Locos, so. Oh. Jakarta, nice, nice. <laughs> yeah, so. Is this from the Platanan Hotel? No. No? This is camera. Maybe they're also can be very aggressive. So. Yeah. <sighs> there are little ones. Guys, we're stopping by a fruit stand. Check this out. So 15,000 for 2 kg of this fruit, which I have no idea what this is. Look at these cute little watermelons. Talking about your ass, huh? What? Money. Money, 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 money. Do I have money? Money, money, money.
And so on that note, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Actually, I, spin, I, I filmed it super spontaneously and I kind of like didn't have like a full video so it has been, hasn't been published yet, it's already a few months back. And uh, yeah, overall, if you're new here, well, my name is Dan and for the past five years I've been traveling and let's say documenting my life around living around the world. So, and as of right now, I'm coming to you from Bali. There is a little video series going on right now, so I'm sharing with you my life, the cost of living, a few super, super sick trips that I've taken to some of the neighboring islands also absolutely nature overload so i'd definitely say you should consider checking them out and if anything that i've let's say mentioned in the past minute or two intrigues you i would say you should also join me on my instagram they're actually a little bit more day-to-day -day life also a little bit like behind the scenes when it comes to let's say growing on youtube i have a little highlight bubble where i like to also share some insight into that and as always you can find more information about who i am and what i do in the description box below and um, yeah the next adventure is already in front of the door 2022 will be in a different country it will start out in a different country but more about that very soon thank you for watching until next time